Meanwhile, the tides were back at Harbor Park tonight. James Cotato has more on their hot start in 2024. Well, home sweet home for the Norfolk Tides, but man, did they treat every place like it was their house over the past week and a half or what? The Tides, 5-1 and one against the Charlotte Knights last week, scored 71 runs in that six-game series, including one game that went viral on social media, a 26-run domination where the Tides straight up were just putting up video game numbers. No, after a couple games, we were definitely, dang, like we just, keep it rolling every game. No, I mean, you put up 26 runs in a AAA game. That's pretty impressive. Their manager, Buck Britton, who was out for the entire start of the year with paternity leave, now back with the team. He said every time he was looking at his phone, looking at this box score, he was just amazed as to how good his crew was. I'm just real proud of how they've come out of the gate, um, especially coming out of spring training. There could be some disappointment, but these guys have shown no signs of that, and they're, they're firing. But Heston Kerstad, batting over 450 on the year, just won International League Hitter of the Week. He has been special this season. Just pretty normal, seeing the ball in the zone, and when I get my pitch, I'm not missing it. So just, you know, staying focused, staying locked in, and just staying within myself. You know, he drove in 10 runs in that 26-run game, and you, you just don't see that. Uh, that that's something you know, maybe at, on PlayStation, uh, but you, you don't you don't see that you don't see that live. The Tide 7-2 going into their series opener against the scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders tonight at Harbor Park. That is game one of a six-game set, so don't worry, you got a lot of time to see these red-hot tides before they hit the road once again. At Harbor Park, I'm James Catato for the Sports Wrap. James, thank you. Let's show you game one highlights. Justin Armbrust to the starter tonight for Norfolk. Strikeout here with the off-speed stuff, and then the gas high and inside. Getting the batter to go down swinging. Arbrister had six strikeouts on the day, but the Rail Riders would get to him in the third here. Josh Van Meter, that's a liner into right field. That would bring one across to make it one to nothing. Then a few batters later, Everson Pieria. He had four RBIs tonight. This would knock in uh, two runs, make it three to nothing. The Tides would get some offensive production behind this Kobe Mayo solo shot in the fourth. It was an absolute blast to over 400 feet, a whole lot of power. But the Rail Riders hold off the Tides rally. You see the final score 5-2. to two. They'll play again tomorrow.